Hey what's up guys and welcome back to a brand new video on my channel today. Today we have episode number 5 of our Juventus career mode. Sorry there's been a bit of a wait for the next episode. Um, I was quite busy to start my new job this week and uh, on the weekend I didn't have time to make many uh, videos in terms of this career mode so uh, I do apologise for that. Obviously th these career mode videos do take a while to edit and um, record so obviously getting home from work I get home half five then eat dinner at six o'clock and then I want to stream so I, and then I obviously need to go to bed early so I don't really have time to sh get home eat stream and then make a video and then go to bed at a reasonable time anymore so this is why I've kind of like my upload schedule is kind of like dipped and dropped and dipped and dropped you know so um, I apologize for that but um, before we get into it if you could leave a like on the video that'd be great Comment your thoughts on the video down below in the in the comment section, uh, and I want to say a thank you. Uh, also, on yesterday's career mode video, um, the Cardiff one episode one really really went down really well. I've seen a lot of you commenting and stuff like that, so thanks for that. Um, before we get into this episode, like I said, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, obviously, subscribe, post notifications on, all that good stuff. And then, uh, yeah, so this one's kind of a weird episode. So. I've got United in the Champions League, as you can see, and then I have them again in the Champions League at the yet the last game of the episode. So, because I wanted to get this episode out, I've kind of um, recorded this game with like the minimal highlights uh, in a way. Then I've simmed two games, and then I've got, uh, as you can see, Quadrado just put us one nil up. Um, so after that, after this game and the two sim games, I had um, United Champions League game two, uh, which was like a few weeks after this one. Um, and actually the first half corrupted, uh, no, I blue screen, my computer blue screen while I was recording and I lost all of the first half footage, I think, I think it was all of the first half, or it was near, it was literally the 40th minute where I restarted it, so that's why I kind of have decided to put a live whole game, so basically, basically the second half of that game, uh, as that game instead of cutting it down into like, uh, five clips. So when that game comes in, you'll get to see how I play throughout the a whole half instead of me just showing you the goals that I score or concede. So that's gonna ha that that kind of has to be the way I'd make this video because obviously I want to get it out. Uh, so I'm gonna obviously I'm just obviously I'm speaking I'm post coming it, but I'll kind of be live coming it in a way. So what I'm gonna do, obviously I, I haven't talked about this game in the background, but we, we won two one, which was pretty uh, good for us in the Champions League, which means. I don't know where we go in the group though, but I know we're high up. I think we could be first in the group. We're first in the league, uh, and we play at Empoli right now, away from home. But like I said, uh, I'm just going to be talking over, and you get to see how I play uh, in terms of like a whole half instead of just the highlights, like I said. So yeah, um, if you do like that type of video where I show a whole half uh, and me talking about my play style and stuff like that, or or do it live, then let me know because I will continue to do it instead of. Uh, just doing clipped highlights, you know. So uh, this game against Empoli, uh, it didn't really go well. We conceded in what the 34th minute. Silvestri, uh, we made three changes. He got a yellow card, and that was it. We lost one nil. Absolute joke. I think they were bottom. Of, no, they were. They were in the bottom half, and I was like, right, I can sin this game because it, it's going to be. It should be an easy game. We're still top though. Uh, Calegri. Uh, they're bottom of the league, like rock bottom, 20th with like one point. So I was like, right, this is a similar game as well. I don't need to be playing these games if they're against weak opponents. So <clears throat> it proved straight away. Rabio scored in the 10th minute there. Uh, uh, Rabio, he's been probably the best signing apart, maybe apart from Morata, um, for the club. Costa then scores for us in the 31st minute. Ronaldo misses a penalty. I'm pretty sure this is second pen miss this season uh, for this career mode. So. That's alright, they pulled one back and I got a bit nervous until Dybala scored in the 77th minute, so that game was done, sealed the win in the 77th minute, uh, <clears throat> really happy with that, um, I think that extends our lead at the top by like 3 points, so as you can see here, look, 45th minute, um, I've got the whole of the second half, so I'm just going to try and talk my way through it while trying to, I guess, give you some insight on this game. So I uh, obviously it's because obviously I'm not used to this. I normally just trim the highlights, boom, speak for like 10 seconds, 30 seconds per clip. Okay, now I've got a whole gameplay. It's gonna be a bit different. So obviously <clears throat> you can see in most of my clips, you can just tell I like to do counter-attack and football a lot. Uh, I just find that um, 
it's so much easier than trying to do this possession and passing from the back and uh, <clears throat> trying to get the ball upfield slowly in, in a way. <clears throat> Sorry, I've got a quite a dry throat right now. So, yeah, excuse me if I uh, if I keep coughing, but um, look, as you can see here, look, most of the football that I play is like one touch, two touch football, and then Dybala should have scored that. I don't know how Dybala did not score that. Um, good save from De Gea though. It, to be fair, it was quite it was quite direct and then towards the middle of the goal there, kind of annoying. Uh, they brought on Martial, I'm pretty sure he just came on for Perea, I think. Uh, yeah, yeah, that was the right player. Yeah. Um, so look, they, they they do play some nice bo uh, football, but uh, Bonucci makes a nice inter interception, but unfortunately goes out for a corner kick for United. Um, like I said, my build-up play is really nice, but when when you see me defending, sometimes you'll see that I step up too much when I play, which is kind of annoying um, in terms of my defensive like, like attributes, I guess if you want to say attributes, but. Because then it allows them to do the the pass where you play the triangles and you push more players up. And I've lost players, uh, even there. Like I just lost the ball from trying to make a pass. Like it, it's just so stupid. I should not be losing the ball in there. And again, Rabiot. Right, we're back. Sorry about that. I didn't. I didn't realize I kept that in the footage, but I, I've got rid of it now. Um, obviously, they'd scored from that mistake. That pass from Rabiot. Rabiot pa tried to pass it, literally, and he kicked it straight at. I think it was either Martial. Or Pogba or Lukaku, I can't remember who it was. He's kicked it straight at him, and they've won the ball straight away in my like last third. And then it just leads to a goal. Lukaku blasts it into the top corner. I just can't. The keeper could never do anything about that. Uh, it's just really annoying when stuff like that happens, and it's just like, well, I know I can play better than that, so why am I doing this? Uh, Ronaldo here tries a nice finesse shot. I didn't put enough um, swerve or curve on the ball, so it, it, it kind of went inside instead of going outside. Um, again, look, another misplaced pass. I don't know why I've... I, when I watch my footage back, instead of just quickly trimming it down, you start to realise, like, when you're not actually playing the game, it, it's weird. When you're watching, it's like the same as watching a streamer. You see them misplace a pass, and, or you see yourself... You see, like, a pass they could have done, and they don't do it. And you're just like, you're like, what are you doing? Pass it there, pass it there. But then when you get into the game, see, like, now I could cut that back to Quadrado... But no, I was just running and running and running with Ronaldo and I lose the ball. Um, so it, it's weird. Once When you watch footage back, you then see the passes. Like, look, I could have probably played that back to Ronaldo with a through ball with Rabiot there if I put enough power on it. It, it, it is really, really weird. Uh, this is a good ball in from Cancelo, but Ronaldo is just nowhere near that. And uh, they, they're on the counter here already. Uh, Lukaku to Martial. Martial inside to Pogba, I think that is. And look how open I am. Look, where's the two centre-backs there? Matuidi was covering that attacking position. The right back was all the way out there, and Regani and Benacia—they're so close to each other, and that makes that big gap between the right centre back and the right back. It's just a joke. I, I, I watching it back, you do realise how badly some situations are. See, like here, Ronaldo play him in. I'm pretty sure I do anyway. Yeah, I do. Uh, I probably what do I do? Cut inside probably. Yeah, and then shoot. Yeah. See, it hit the post. What a joke. And then how have you missed that rebound, Bena Benadashe? Took him straight off. Took him, hooked him as soon as he missed that. Open goal, 77th minutes, 1 0. We're 1 0 down, and you missed that. How are you missing that chance? Absolute nightmare, but uh, we carry on with the game. Uh, Custer's on the ball here. Plays it into Quadrado. Quadrado makes a nice run. I was going to shoot there, and then I decided last minute to cut inside. Ronaldo tries to shoot, and I just completely fluff it. Again, could have played it down to Rabio and probably got a goal there, but no, I didn't. I tried to play it into Mandzukic. Uh, Rabiot has lost the ball about four times in the in the past what 30 minutes of in-game football just from me watching back uh, Ronaldo I tried to go the far corner but I don't know why it drags so far back and uh, we decided to bring uh, Morata on uh, for Mandzukic instead of uh, instead of Mandzukic yeah uh, but that uh, was that Benacio with the header I think it was completely fumbled it uh, I think they took off. I thought they brought. I think they brought on Rashford. Yeah, they did bring on Rashford. I don't know who for. Probably. Uh, I would say Sanchez. Maybe I don't know if Sanchez was playing. Uh, good ball down here to Sandro. Uh, he's running down the wing. Tries to whip a ball in. Guadrado's nearly there, but um, Eric Bailly does well to clear. Rabiot with the first time shot. What a save from De Gea. He, that's why he's the best keeper in the world. Right down low. 
uh, in the 87th minute, the dying embers of the game. Really good save from him. Uh, ben, uh, not Bernard, actually. Uh, Cancelo wins the ball back there with a nice uh, interception. Uh, Quadrado gets the ball played with Tweedy. Uh, I tried to cut inside to Morata. Bad pass. Uh, Ravio's got it. I tried to wait for Mar uh, Matuidi to come inside, but he didn't, so I ended up with Morata. Ronaldo does a nice scoop turn. I don't know why that. Okay, it was a free kick. At first, then, and when I actually did that in game, I was like, why is it not a free kick? And then obviously, Ronaldo's got it. I had to shoot, I had to try it, you know, and he's, I didn't put enough power on it because I was scared because the free kicks that I've been having, they've been fumbling over the bar, but unfortunately we do lose 1-0. Uh, that is the end of the video. If you did enjoy, please do a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.